Hey, what's up guys? This is Foryam again, back with another Minecraft Dungeons video. Today, I felt like making a video that compiles everything, all the knowledge that I know about this game, which will allow you to get your hands on the best uniques on the max level on Minecraft Dungeons, because many of you have been asking for different guides and builds and stuff like that. But um, right now you are probably sitting on this screen right here, wondering what you should do next. You already unlocked the mushroom uh, or the secret cow level. Um, you have destroyed the arch illager for the third time already. And you have seen that cutscene over and over again. But um, right now you are probably sitting right in front of this screen, the island realms, waiting for it to pop up or unlock. And this will take a couple more weeks. I will make a video for that one um, tomorrow, so definitely stay tuned. But um, right now, I want to show you which are, in my opinion, the three best places to farm for your top level uniques and also get your hands on tons of emeralds without being AFK. Because being AFK is a little bit boring. I don't like that either. I like to farm for my own gear myself. Um, and it, this is also the most efficient way to get emeralds to play actively. So. We're gonna cover three levels. My three favorites, first one, the Creeper Crypt, then also the Soggy Cave, and then last but not least, the Ark Haven. In my opinion, they have the best loot tables because on the Creeper Crypt, you will be able to find the Hunter's Armor because this one, guys, with the right enchantments, will be able um, to be part of a nice build that can make you one-shot the Mushroom, Monstrosity, and all the other bosses. Uh, also, my favorite item in the game, pretty much, is the Battle Rope. With cooldown reduction, this bad boy is insane. I am in love with it. I am still wearing it, as you can see right here. I don't even have the unique item of that level. Uh, currently, this one is on 106 with 2 times cooldown reduction, which I have covered in many of my videos with in combination with a covered is oh my god this is just the dream for me but um that is pretty much it for the gear on Creepy Crypt. Uh, you could also go for the Boots of Swiftness and the Ghost Cloak. Um, for AFK XP farms, the Tasty Bone will drop right here as well, which is really nice. But um, that is pretty much it for this loot table. Um, those are the most important items. Then for the Soggy Cave, we have some pretty crazy loot dropping right here. We have the Soul uh, Fists, we have the Fighter's Bindings. Um, you can also find the Maulers right here, but I think they are not that great. Um, this double X will make mobs explode when you kill them, so that is really cool as well. And then uh, the daggers. I have the uh, moon daggers. Uh, they deal a lot of crit damage. Let me show you right here what I have. So this 108 roll was so crazy. I even made a video for it, but uh, with radiance, critical hit and swirling, you can deal so much damage against those bosses. Uh, especially, of course, if you have formed some souls. Souls, souls, that's it. Sorry, I pronounced this like wrong many, many times. Sorry about that, but um, let's get back to the map. So, Soggy Cave is an awesome place to farm. You can also find some artifacts right there, but I think they're not very useful. Um, then you also have the Evocation Rope, which gives you an increased movement speed, which is very nice for speedruns. And yeah, Phantom Armor, not a big fan of that one. But... Um, then we have the Ark Haven, and this place drops the longbow a video, which I made yesterday. Didn't get a lot of views, but at the same time, this Guardian Bow, guys, with the right enchantments, is the one-shot beast killer machine for the Mushroom Monstrosity. Um, then the Renegade Armor, awesome piece of armor. I prefer the Battle Rope, but uh, the Mercenary Armor and the improved uh, Renegade Armor is really nice to have if you like to have close quarter battles and stuff like that. Some artifacts that drop here, uh, like Light Feather, which is a nice thing to have as well. But uh, my favorite uh, artifacts at the moment are the Ghost Cloak, the Deathcap Mushroom and the Boots of Swiftness. You've probably heard me saying this in almost every video, but I cannot stress this out enough. These three artifacts are godlike, in my opinion, if you have some nice cooldown reduction. Look at this. I can just keep spamming them. They will go on cooldown uh, within a couple seconds. So um, this will allow you to move very quickly. So guys, let's get right to it. All right, so guys, that was a lot of talking. I almost had a sore throat from that one. But um, right now, we're gonna speedrun these levels. Um, the first one is the Creepy Crypt that pops up, but 
I already made a pretty crazy farming video for this, so um, you should check it out. I'm gonna link it to the end of this video. Um, it will have so many chests, guys. Uh, this will allow you to get your hands on so many items and at the same time, tons and tons of emeralds. And if you salvage those items in like five to 10 minutes, you will be able to get your hands on at least 1000 emeralds. So in my opinion, Creepy Creeps is the number one emerald farm. Check out the video if you want to get your hands on that. But right now we're gonna go to Soggy Swamp, uh, sorry, Soggy Cave to go for those fighters bindings and also the moon daggers. If you have already checked some of my speedrun guides, of course, this can be a little bit repetitive, but at the same time, I just want to share this valuable information with all the people that haven't seen it yet. So right now we are at the soggy cave. You're gonna open up your minimap overlay and you're gonna run straight through the entrance because with these enchantments on your armor and the right artifacts, it will only take a couple seconds. You can run through mobs, which is awesome to do. And for this speed run, it is literally perfect because load screens included, this will only take like one minute and you can do it over and over again. So right now we're gonna do a controller glitch, click right there and floops, we are inside. And oh, we just found the soul fist. Are you kidding me? That is really nice. So this explains you how crazy the farm is. Uh, I was quite lucky as well. Um, like every 10 to 15 runs, you will usually get one, but um, it only took me one run this time. So this explains how crazy the farm is. Okay, okay, that's not very fair towards our console fans. So I'm gonna show exactly the same thing for the console players. You will be able to do this pretty fast as well, actually. So I'm gonna do that right now. By the way, I am also thinking about maybe buying Minecraft Dungeons for the Nintendo Switch because I think it would be so much fun to play this with like four people on the couch. All right, crossing the bridge once again and going to the left chamber first. And oh, we are quite lucky because this place is skippable, guys. What you're gonna do right here is use your feather. Um, some people say like you don't need a feather for some of these areas, but if you do, um, this will be so much easier. So we're gonna use the feather once again, get up this little ledge right here, stand at right at the end and then use the feather once again. Oh, we just filled right there, that is not nice. Um, I'm gonna do it once again. Stand on this little plateau right here and roll to the other side. That's that. And just a little bit further. Look at that. Oh, oh, yes, there we go. Right now we can open up this puzzle straight away and progress to the next room. So on the console, this can also be done quite easily, guys. Uh, normally I do it in one try, but this time, I don't know, uh, stressy day at work, I guess, but uh, I failed on my first try. Now we're gonna go to the second room and this one also allows you to skip it 100%. I'm gonna pop up my cooldowns and look at that. So you're gonna stand right here. Um, you can take your time for this if you want and use your feather, go up here and then roll once again and boom, we are already there. And now you go to this area. Et voila, we opened the second puzzle. Right now I'm gonna equip my ghost cloak once again and speed run through this. So this also went quite fast, going to that chest and boom. Oh, for the consoles, we also found a legendary or unique item. That is really crazy, only two runs. You can see it right here. We found two times the lightning rod and then the soul fist and the whirlwind axe. That is really nice. Um, don't skip the level though, guys, you just, go for the exit and then you're just gonna roll in the water and click the boat. So that is pretty much everything you need to know for the soggy cave. All right, so we have arrived at the Ark Haven. Uh, on both PC and console, this can be done in like one and a half minutes with the right gear. So what you're gonna do, open up your minimap once again and boost your way through these mobs, just ignore them. Um, there is one big pack of mobs though right here. You're gonna deal with them and you can progress through the gate. Um, right now you're gonna go over these uh, staircases and then you're gonna have to pick up some spell books. Um, don't go on this first, uh, oh well, actually we're gonna have to do that because our first book is already there. But um, you always go up to this staircase, uh, go this way, 
uh, because if you go north straight away you won't be able to pick up the spell book so this one is already the third one and right now we can go through that gate this will bring us to a dungeon or well a cave and right here we will find our first chest when you stand right here uh, i'm gonna deal with these mobs quickly uh, normally there are two ways in order to get the chest the legit way is to roll over this and then jump once again and then you will be able to open it but you can also even stand at the other side you can stand right here and click the chest and this will allow you to pick up the armor or whatever is dropping right there now we're gonna run a little bit further cross this bridge and then we will already find our second chest right here look at that and you can go oh well first we're gonna deal with these mobs look at that radiance Oh, that's so nice. But right now you're just gonna roll right here and click on that chest. Unfortunately though, we weren't able to find a unique piece of armor or a weapon, but uh, we were already quite lucky on Soggy Cave. Um, if you have done that, don't reset the level. Just kill these few mobs because after that the level is already finished. So then you will be able to progress through the gate and voila, this will give you a victory screen. So after just one and a half minutes, you will be able to take at least two items and even more if you find more chests on the way. But um, then you will also get a free artifact, which is really nice. So after speedrunning both Soggy Cave and Ark Haven, we already got nine items, which is really nice. I'm going to salvage them right now. The enchants don't look really nice. So um, I'm just gonna get rid of them. Maybe this one though. Uh, we have Radiance, Critical Hit. Uh, these three are pretty bad, but uh, this was also quite decent, but uh, not for me, guys. So look at that. We got quite some emeralds of that as well. So guys, thanks a lot for watching. This is everything you need to know in order to speedrun the best levels. Um, if you haven't checked out my Creepy Crypt farm yet, definitely make sure you do at the end of the video, at the outro, because it is insanely useful. I go in depth on every single chamber that you're gonna have to focus on on the minimap, and I also unveil all the secrets right there. So definitely make sure you check it out. Oh, and guys, I almost forgot to mention that I made a Discord channel today. So if you are interested in playing together, uh, play with friends or something like that, I made some lobbies where you can uh, look for group and stuff like that. Um, it would be very nice to see some activity right there. And I will be very active on that platform as well. So guys, thanks a lot for watching once again. Um, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already for a lot more content because it is coming your way. Tomorrow I will upload a video about that. Um, new upcoming DLC and um, yeah for now it is 4am out I'll see you in the next one